Continuing our discussion on word embeddings, we will look at how to do one hot encoding in Keras. So our ultimate goal would be to calculate the embedding matrix. So if uh, this is our uh, vocabulary and uh, let's say its size is 10,000 and this word is at position 1, 2, 3, 6k, 6001 and let's say this is at position 10,000. So uh, we need uh, a embedding of each word. So the embedding matrix will be, let's say we want to represent each word with a 100 dimensional vector. Then this matrix will be 100 cross 10,000. And this A will come here then abandon and finally zoo. So it will have 100 components, similarly this will have 100, each word will have 100 features. So before that, uh, uh, in order for calculating the embedding matrix, uh, Keras also has one embedding layer, which will give you the embedding matrix, but uh, it needs integral representation of words. It will not take the words and give you the embedding matrix. First you need to convert each word to some integer. For example, there are some inbuilt datasets in Keras. Uh, one of the popular is IMDB movie reviews dataset. So if you load that dataset and try to print all the values, you will see that each review will have values like this. Then 5,525, 5, it will start from 1, this is a special character, and so on. Then another review, so you will get a list of this, let's say 25,000 reviews, and each review is represented like a list of numbers, and these numbers are nothing but words. In IMDB dataset, uh, this is the how frequently a word occurs in the vocal vocabulary of this IMDB dataset. So this 10, this word occurs much more frequently than the next word because its frequency, uh, it occurs at rank 5000 and it occurs at rank 10. So this is just one way of uh, encoding your words. Another way is to use a ready-made built-in function of Keras called one hot. And what this one hot function does, it uh, converts, uh, it calculates the hash of each word and you specify the vocabulary size. In this case, it's 10,000. So if you remember how hashing works, uh, a hash table will have a maximum index. So all the hash keys will map to that. So in this case, from 0 to 9999 and each of the word will be mapped to any one value between 0 to 9999. And in Keras, uh, there can be repetitions because these are just hash values and not the actual position in the vocabulary. So just a brief recap of one hot representation. For example, in our vocabulary, let's say name occurs at position 6000 and our vocabulary size is 10k then one hot representation of a word will be of size 10,000 cross 1 vector and all the positions will be 0 except 1 at the position 6,000 in this case for the word name. So this will be represented as 6,000. This denotes the word name in one hot form one hot representation. Now we will use Keras to uh, calculate the one hot representation. So first we need to import the one hot function from Keras dot preprocessing dot text import one hot and then we will define documents. In NLP term, uh, 
so I was telling that uh, in IMDb dataset, each review is represented as a list of uh, numbers, which numbers denote words. And we call each data set, each data here, each data is a review in this case, movie review. We call it a document. This is a standard term that is used across all NLP applications. So now we will define our documents. Glass of orange juice. bottle of mango juice so I will not define too many I will define six seven uh, sentences or documents Let's define one more, man and woman. So we have defined our documents. Next, what we will do? We will define our vocabulary size. Because uh, in order to define a has, uh, to find the has key, you need to have a range within which you have to map, map the has of that. So vocab size will help there. So none of the indices should go beyond that. Each word will have a value less than this vocab size. And in our case, it's 10,000. And max document length, uh, we can define, which we will do later when we calculate the actual embedding matrix. So right now we are just calculating the uh, one hot representation. So now we will calculate the one hot. for each document. So here D will mean one phrase, this sentence, this sentence. So we will iterate for all the documents and then we will pass the document and vocab size. And this will calculate the corresponding one hot representation. It will not print uh, 10,000 cross one for each word, it will just assign a value. For example, 6000 would mean it's the uh, uh, every uh, index in the vector 10,000 cross 1 is 0 except 1 at position 6000. So now let's uh, print the encoded docs. So uh, this gives us the same uh, list of documents, but now as a one hot representation. So here you see that 2029 off is the second word. And here also it's the second word. So it maps to the same location. Uh, multiple values can go into the same uh, cell using hashing, but uh, the same value should always map to the same key. So that is mandatory. So here all the off should go to 2029. Similarly, you can see the second uh, index for all of these first three documents is 2029, which denotes off. So this way we can uh, calculate the one hot representation of words in Keras.